Alright everyone, it is me, Johnson Chan. Ah yes, I did uh, deal with the um, camera focus. Oh, so I had an okay night's sleep. I'm still actually waking up in the middle. It's like, I, part of the problem is, now that I'm working on my game, um, I decided I'm going to go back and switch it over to like my main dream story so we're just gonna use that as my story and then now i'm having like yesterday i was having like these weird kind of dreams where i was like thinking like, like possible scenarios for for the um i don't want to avoid saying the name because i don't have it copyrighted just yet uh foot story uh, so like bad things are happening because that's what villains do. And it's like, I really don't want to be dreaming about that. And then just waking up in the middle and it's like, come on, you know, I, I need a full night's rest. Okay. But you know, I, I guess either my dreams can't help it or God, well, God can always help it, but I, I don't know. Maybe there's something going on with my head, but, uh, either way, you know, I had an okay night's sleep, but I mean, part of the problem is also uh, eating as well. Like well, my body is still primarily still trying to adjust to the fact that I'm only exercising every other day. Uh, in fact, let's see. Today is April first. Happy. I mean, normally I would have some sort of April Fool's joke, but I mean, the problem is I don't want to get banned on Twitter. <laughs> so, uh, plus it's also coronavirus time. So you know, uh, yeah. So anyway, I just got to like reduce the calories that I take in, but of course my asshole body as always just wants to eat literally the entire world. So it's just like, uh, but, uh, yeah, but what I'm going to do is I'm definitely going to just finish off whatever carbs I have left. Right. Of course, in as controlled the manner as I can, and then just simply not buy any. And then when I have to restock it, you know, it'll just be cereal because it seems like if I eat cereal, then my actual carb cravings go way down. I actually take in a lot less. Uh, calories as opposed to say uh, naturally baked potato chips right so I guess it, I guess it's something about potato chips in general and I checked the sugars the sugar counts pretty much the same if not very small it's like a couple grams for every serving and I, I usually only I usually limit myself to one to two servings so it's like 160 to 320 calories which is still kind of a lot but you know um if I, I know for a fact if I don't eat, then I'm going to start binging. And it's like, ugh, okay, how about I just just eat a little, right? Just feed a little, you know, just give, just give a little something. Because uh, your hormones are, you know, whatever. So it's like, okay, I got I to gotta figure something out. So anyway, I think cereal will be the way to go for me. Of course, I got to check to make sure they don't put crazy amounts of sugar. Because, you know, because I have Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And that makes me really hungry. That's why I stopped eating it, all right? But the other cereal, which is just natural honey, oats, and... Uh, Cluster peanut stuff, really good, very low sugar count. It's actually very satisfying too. It's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, I don't want, like, yeah, I want to eat a little more, but I can just simply put it down. It's like, yeah, I don't, yeah. So that's what I'm looking for: satisfaction, satisfactory food, so that your hormones finally start going. You know what? Send out the ghrelin. You know, we're we're we're, we're full. <laughs> so you know, I'll, I'll be able to deal with it, and then I can you know accelerate my weight loss because. You know, I'm starting to notice I'm getting a little bit of inflammation still. It's like, you know, that, that's not supposed to be happening. So, which indicates to me that, yes, I'm, take, uh, uh, I'm taking in too many calories or I'm not burning enough, right? Because even when I exercise, I get a little bit of inflammation too because, you know, because my body's response is to burn more energy, right? And when you burn energy, that's what causes the inflammation, right? Normally, it's not a problem, but in my case, you know, obviously, I have too much energy. So, and that's why it's affecting my sleep. So yeah, uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll deal with it. You know, I'm just in an adjustment period. That's all. Anyway, Bitcoin searches for this week have finally been released. It's now down to 13. So yeah, it, what's interesting is, you know, it's been relatively stable and it goes up and down. Right. And of course they have the toilet paper token now and CMC. Um, I think this is supposed to look like the image of toilet paper, but it kind of looks like something else. Uh, so I kind of wish they would just not do that. But anyway, Bitcoin's down a little bit to 62.65, as we'll soon see. The markets are down today. Um, again, the effects of April rent, like the secondary, or I guess you could call it tertiary, but I call it, I call it secondary effects of coronavirus are now starting to be felt, or they are beginning to be felt, which is the economic fallout. The problem is we can't exactly open America up yet either, even though I kind of wish we did, you know, uh, like. Uh, like Mike Saravich actually brought up a good point yesterday, right? You know, 
because like I was stay, I'm trying to stay away from Twitter, right? And it's like, okay, it's been a few days. Let me go and see what's going on, right? So I listened to Nick Fuentes. Uh, he was talking a lot about uh, transgender issues. Uh, are you saying how it's actually a very good silver lining? I'll try to keep it as terms of service friendly as possible. Uh, so you can go watch. Uh, well, I mean, I, I I can't even specify it, so you know. But either way, uh, yeah, he pretty much is on point with the way he's thinking, the way I I think too. So that's how I know Nick is. Uh, you know, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. Remember, God is with us. All right, we just have to be still, like Jesse Lee Pierce said would say trusting god and then just take things you know as we can handle them right and just not go too crazy at least mentally and emotionally don't go too crazy with it and then you know uh you know you'll you'll just know you'll just know what to do and if you don't know what to do then just do nothing right just go about just go on just go on about your life all right so um Oh, where was I going this ramble? But yeah, basically we're all becoming more right wing. Like people, like uh, Call Me a Bugle even wrote. Oh, we might as well go there. Uh, of course, uh, please don't tell me 404 is messing up with cracks now. Like I don't know, Firefox and this uh, proxy really just does not like each other. Like it's such a bad thing. I don't. <clears throat> I forgot what I read, but I think it was a YouTube comment told me to use Opera. My my uh my VPN that I'm paying uh I use Tunnel there. Uh, I don't think they support Opera, but even if they did, I, I want to use Opera because I always have like severe problems with Opera. Uh, so uh yeah. Anyway, I want to go to my Twitter. Ah, oh, it's just so slow. But yeah, I want to show you the statistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, come on, come on. Uh, yeah, we'll eventually get back to the to the thing. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, so Stephanie actually wrote something pretty good here. So the WHO is just like first of all, they're funded by China, the Communist Party of China, and like they're wasting our money. So and they're like, I mean, they're trying to make it look like, hey, the WHO gave us a coronavirus testing kit and we rejected. It. Yeah, we rejected it. I mentioned before. I'll mention it again because they had a fifty percent false positive rate. You can't do that. Right, uh, Rebecca Burks and Dr. Fauci, uh, but Burks specifically said in one of the Trump press conferences, yeah, that's why we rejected it, because we can't just be telling people, hey, you have coronavirus, it turns out we were wrong, right? <laughs> it's like, you can't do that. So that's why we rejected it, because it's a sh the test doesn't work. Um, I think I did that, and of course, uh, Dan Crenshaw doesn't believe Jesus was a real person. He calls him a mythical superhero, like Superman. And then he refers to other, and then he said, and then it's different from, say, a real person and named, like, Gandhi or something. Yeah, so Dan Crenshaw really is, I mean, I think his intention was kind of trying to be nice, but, you know, uh, it, it, it's obvious that Dan Crenshaw's loyalties are not really with America, despite him being an uh, Iraq war vet. Don't let that fool you. Uh, and his loyalties are with a different country. Uh, and to a different entity, right? It's obviously not Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, rent relief. Yeah, they really need to do this, but for some reason they're not going to do it. So that's why, you know, the shit's going down today. So we'll cover that. Uh, where is the damn thing? Oh, yeah, Rachel Maddow is even being kind of friendly towards Trump. But, yeah, cause she, I don't have the, her reply here, but she actually replied say, Oh, well, you said that on March 20th, and that's what you said. But, okay, you know what? It's a stressful situation, so... Anyway, America First is rising in the midst of the Chinese coronavirus crisis. About five in six American adults said they want to see America end all immigration from Mexico. So this is the beginning of something great. All right. Uh, now people are actually now starting to realize, you know what? Immigration was the cause of all this shit. Globalization was the cause of all this shit. <clears throat> and what, what are globalists going to do? All right. Where are they going to do? And then for some reason, there's this I... Oh, yeah. So I-Dubs is like some hardcore simp. He... His girl, his girlfriend started up an OnlyFans account, which is for uh, prawn, right? Porn. And he's totally okay with it. It's like, wow. And apparently this I-Dubs guy has made a reputation of calling out other people for basically the same thing. So that... that so, yeah, he does get what he deserves. And that's why he's getting... Um, uh much deserved criticism from his fan base 
<clears throat> but you know, I, I don't even know who he is. I don't really care. And just from like the work he's done, yeah, I don't find any of his stuff funny. I find it disgusting and demoralizing. It's like, how did people not see this before? You know. So anyway, uh, yeah. So let's see. So Bitcoin's at sixty two sixty five. Litecoin's at thirty eight bucks. We do have a lot to go over, but I'll try to keep everything short. Uh, Doggy coin is at two twenty two million market cap. Hmm. Excuse me. It's very important that I burp so I don't get hiccups. Because if you suppress a burp, uh, you get hiccups. That's what uh, always happens to me, and it's so annoying. Uh. Whew. Steam uh, continues to go down a little bit, 15.60 cents. So yeah, I mean, market troubles plus the hard fork is kind of hitting Steam. Uh, but I still want to keep accumulating. But yeah, I'm focusing more on Hive because I think that's the better one. But people still use Steam, so I'll just have both. Um, who knows? Maybe if Steam gets that cheap, I'll uh, you know buy it up. I've also noticed that Justin Sun has more or less abandoned Steam. Steam it, Twitter, right? Because after the hard fork, they haven't been saying shit. <clears throat> uh, yeah, see, that's it, March 7th. All right, oh, that's a promoted tweet, March 7th. Yeah, and that's it. So, I don't know, whatever whatever scammy little plans Justin Sun had, like, yeah, it's kind of annoying that, you know. Uh, but, you know, the good news is this will send a message to future billionaires and other rich assholes that, like, Hey, you know, just like me and Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, you, you you fuck me over, we're gonna fuck you over back, right? So, you know, and, and then what Globus gonna do? Just ban the internet? <laughs> I mean, they'll try, but you know, that's really not gonna work. <clears throat> All right, so so the so the actual data is coming in of like the economic fallout from the shutdown, and unfortunately, it's gonna continue to get worse. Um, and I did mention Mike Cernovich, so I'll go over this again. He said that, uh, so apparently there was a Trump press conference, and Trump himself said it's going to be a very painful next two weeks, and 100,000 and 250,000 Americans are going to die, which is just ridiculous. That's, that, that's insane, right? Because we're, and he said that this, that's the best case scenario with we continue our social distancing, right? And it turns out we're using the modeling that we use here in New York City for everywhere else in America. You're not supposed to do that because Montana or Florida is completely different from a metropolitan area in New York City. It's like everyone's spread out, literally. So they're, they're unnecessarily uh, spreading too much fear mongering and causing a lot of panic. And unfortunately, it's also causing more calls for shutdowns, which is why we're going to continue having this economic fallout. Yeah, I think, again, again, it's a combination, I think, of, yes, people are, like, their data is not reliable. Like, even Mario, Mario, Andrew Cuomo, our governor, is saying the same thing, but he can't take the chance either, especially because we're in New York. So, uh, if we fuck up, yeah, a lot of people die here, right? But the problem is not everywhere, most of America is not New York. So, you know, and luckily a lot of states are actually just doing social distancing, but they're not really closing down. Uh, I think Kansas or Oklahoma, I forgot which one of those red states, they have a Democrat governor, I think, and he just ordered a complete shutdown. I know they ordered Hobby Lobby to simply shut down, because Hobby Lobby was like, yeah, go after yourself. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, that's what happens when you don't wield the power of the state. So, anyway, uh, we're going to be, uh, it, so between now and April 10th specifically, uh, the rent the rents are being paid, right? I had to I had my rent paid because I have auto debit, right? I paid my rent today. A lot of people are not able to make rent. That's going to have an effect. Business, small businesses are not going to be able to pay their rent. And right now they still, like they, they, they're aware of the problem. So that's good, right? So that's why they're going to be taking small business administration loans and other bank loans. Uh, and even the commercial, and the people who have the mortgages for these businesses, they actually understand and they don't want to get rid of these good tenants so that they're going to work something out. But in the meantime, there's going to be short-term economic uh, chaos and that's what we're going to see. Um, obviously, it's really early in the day. It's 10.30 a.m. So already I'm seeing that it's not as bad as it was in March. So if this thing does go down a lot, I don't think it'll hit the 66% correction territory, which would be around... 9,000 because that would imply that what's happening now is fundamentally much worse than what happened in March 
And that's just not what I'm seeing. What I'm seeing is uh, there's a problem. It's very bad, but people are aware that it's very bad and they're doing everything they can to fix it, right? Uh, yesterday, I tweeted out uh, the Tom Barrick billionaire commercial real estate guy. He explained the whole thing. I actually just placed it as an update, as a description, right? So you can look at it over here in Bitcoin Cloud World 387. I would actually encourage you to watch that 10 minute clip. Uh, just ignore the stupid Bloomberg uh, news report. He started off good, but then he started becoming like, you know, your typical far left wing shit lib uh, fake news asshole uh, piece of shit. So uh, ignoring that, you know, he actually explained about how it's a, uh, uh, a liquidity crisis, not a credit crisis, right? Because we have all the credit in the world. It's just that people don't have actual access to U.S. dollars in hand, right? Because everything's shut down. So, but, you know, the guy basically said uh, the markets are aware of it. The stimulus was a very good boon. Uh, and they said that it's a very complex regulatory machine. And they're right now fixing it and lifting it. Just like Trump is telling the FDA, remove all these regulations so we could test all this, like, anti-coronavirus stuff. All right. And, uh, and Tom Barrick said today is not like what it was in 2008, because back then it was corrupt, crony capitalism. The system was horrible. Today, everything's a lot more robust, flexible, and everyone's actually, you know, following regulations. So the problem is the regulations just need to be changed and loosened uh, a little more and clarified. Well, he didn't use those exact words, but basically he said everything's being honest, but we just need to make tweaks to it. So that's actually why things should be OK. Uh, but in the meantime, yeah, I'm thinking the Dow probably hits uh, in between, right? So probably around 15,000 would be the target here. That's when I'm going to start looking to buy in the Dow. And then by then we'll have um, more uh, we'll have more real estate data to work with. Uh, in addition, of course, to what's going to actually happen with coronavirus. Because everyone now thinks 100,000, 250,000 Americans are going to die from coronavirus. So now they're unnecessarily fear mongering the shit out of everyone. It's very annoying because they're using bad uh, modeling data, according to Mike Cernovich. So, you know, but it's improving, right? It's improving because before they said one to four million Americans at least will die. Now it's down 10x to 100,000 to 250K. And then Mike Cernovich's whole point of his 22 minute periscope was what what is the CDC modeling data? How are they coming up with these numbers? We need to you know, make it open source and let us know. It's actually a fair point. Like, how are they making this shit up? You know, so, um, so, uh, so I think the more correct answer would actually probably be around ten thousand to twenty-five thousand, with a lot of them being in uh, here in New York, and it disproportionately affects older people and fat people, right? That's the thing that they're not telling you, right? Of course, you go to a dissident right website. He actually breaks down the actual deaths based on mortality and their age group and what is their obesity rate because there's because yeah it's it, there's a reason why i gotta be a little worried about coronavirus because that i'm actually in a high risk group because i have inflammation due to being overweight so because my immune system is already being overworked a little bit so if i get coronavirus you know me being a young 30s guy well you know i want to be too specific with my age now yeah, it's gonna be a problem all right it's definitely gonna be a problem all right so yeah and in fact the doctor in china that warned everybody he was 37 years old right so it's very kind of close to my age and he doesn't he looked kind of physically normal right but if he's like most typical men he probably has a little, a little bit extra body fat it's all it takes <laughs> so yeah so anyway uh yeah, so the factory activity is down, restrictions to continue for a period of months. Uh, yeah, this is, yeah, this is really problematic. Um, even as outbreak slows, mayor of Seattle. Um, I mean, how long did China have to shut down Wuhan for? I think they did for two months, right? So that's 60 days. Uh, in our case, we'll probably, like, at least 30 days, but we could start maybe reopening a little bit, starting at 45 day mark. Like, God, that's so much, 30 days. Well, I know we can't reopen in 15 days. That's two weeks, right? So maybe three weeks would be the minimum to even start thinking about it. But um, I don't know, like like Mayor Cuomo said, he reevaluates every two weeks. So maybe on the every two weeks, if things don't go as crazy, 
right? Because everyone's saying, oh, it's going to be really bad. And then it turns out it doesn't, which is good. Then they say, okay, cool. All right, maybe we can start reopening in New York a little bit. You know, 25% workforce can go back, right? You know, start, start putting less strain on everybody. Because this is really bad. People are going to like start getting angry about not making money, not paying rent, you know, not can't afford anything. In Italy, they're already having food riots, and so they deploy police officers to stop, right? Because, yeah, like, other, there are other ways people will wind up dying. So, you know, that's why you can't just, you know, just shut everything down forever, right? You have to be more flexible. You know, so, you know it's a common theme that I have. Yeah. So in the meantime, everything's going down. Of course, uh, markets are down. So again, as long as Rebel doesn't go bankrupt, we'll have to see. But you know, it's going to be up to uh, it's going to be up to what happens, right? And of course, we're having earthquakes. You know, I tweeted yesterday that this could be like the plague times during Moses, right, from the Bible, right? The plague of frogs, the plague of rain, the plague of whatever. It's like Monka Super Giga. <laughs> so yeah. But uh, luckily, we don't have to smear uh, lamb's blood or whatever on the front of your doors, because that's what you had to do back then, because Jesus Christ didn't exist then, right? That, that, that came later. So, you know, in our case, we just simply just believe in Jesus, believe in God, and then just, you know, you know do your best. Yeah. So anyway, GMC is at 6 to 7. 4-4 four, four is at 5 to 6. It's really 6 to 7. Um, but again, today is just a down day. So, because uh, I saw signs of things going down last night, right? But again, I was like, oh, okay, well, there's going to be a lot of volatility. So, two by two holding strong, 67, 68, or 66 also. So, very good, very good. I like it. Compound coin continues to gain strength. It's now at 8,000 to 8,200. So, for the first time, pretty much in a long ass time. The buy and sell price are very similar, and the volume's pretty good too for what it is. Uh, according to this, the high was eighty six eighty. So yeah, people are uh, dogpiling into crypto. Like it's not going up uh, for the most part, but you know, cryptocurrency is definitely proven more than itself. I still don't know why people still like crypto sucks. Buy gold and silver. Uh, you know, so let's see, gold USD. Is it even going up today? Uh, it, oh my god, I really hate that they just can't make this any simpler. Uh, it is up 0.86%. So it's do, it does a little bit of what it's supposed to. What? So it's down a lot, and it's up, okay. Yeah. So if I was willing to spend $1,350, I could have made a 37% return after a few months. You know what? I'll pass. I'd rather have crypto. This is such terrible. First of all, this costs a lot of fucking money to buy even one ounce of gold. I assume this is one ounce of gold, right? It usually is, right? And I only make a 37% return. Yeah. Look, I mean, first of all, the markets are down a lot, right? So why isn't gold going up a lot? Eh, it's like, eh. I'll, 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 st I'll, st I'll stick to, I'll stick to um, crypto, right? You know, it's like, I know boomers still love fucking gold and silver. That works for them. Fine. It's not actually going to work, right? You're, just, you're, you're literally just not making, like, it literally just doesn't do anything, right? You're better off holding cash, believe it or not, and then just go buy something else when, when the markets crash. Then you'll make, you know, Boku hundreds of percent. You won't have to take big risk like I am with Remmel, right? Because I'm trying to get back 35 grand. So that's why I'm taking more risk, right? But you can definitely buy like Microsoft RF or something more stable, right? An actual company that's worth billions of dollars, right? So, uh, yeah, but whatever, you know, at, at this point, you know, if people want to just, just stay not rich, then whatever. It's like, yeah, or whatever, you know, whatever. <clears throat> uh, eight thousand eight two. Oh yeah, so we already looked at that. All right, so we kind of went over a lot of stuff. So I really just don't feel like watching anywhere in the news because we already did it with the Yahoo and coronavirus stuff. <clears throat> um, Binance, CZ talks Bitcoin price high, but okay, that's such a weird picture. Yeah, I guess I'm kind of curious. What did Justin Sun see in Steam and really the other big 
finance uh, exchanges like Binance, C and Steam that they just wanted to hijack it. You know, so video conferencing surge leads to Zoom bombing. FBI warning and dirt. What? Uh, okay, all right. It's just a misleading headline. Uh, Binance is going to buy coin market cap at four hundred million dollars. Price tag. Oh, interesting. All right, so they're gonna buy a coin market cap. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about it, but okay. Ripple releases. I don't care. Coinbase says 1.3 billion in crypto cash inflows in 48 hours. Wow. Also, I kind of like this. I kind of we haven't used the an actual Bitcoin picture in a while, so we'll use that one. Coinbase reaches 200 million Bitcoin crypto payments milestone. IMF issue seven step guidance to preserve credibility and integrity in the blah 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 so it's just globalists playing at the uh you know making sure the system doesn't go down yeah and trump's still i mean he's losing a slight lead but that's because his re-election odds apparently is now going to be tied oh now it's up to 49 to 42. uh it's tied to basically the stock market so <clears throat> all right so the important thing is, as long as Trump, he's probably, he's not dumb, right? You know, despite what people say. So as long as Trump realizes, yeah, these data models are retarded, but I can't just go out and say that, so, because it'll make me look bad, because he's got to worry about optics, right? He's, he, he's Trump. He's the president of the United States, and he ran on optics, which I don't like. I don't like optics. I don't give a shit about optics, but I have to care about it, right? Just like I have to watch what I say, so I don't get banned, which is not right i should be because god doesn't operate like that right you know i mean on top of that god even tried censorship right that's why he did the flood that's why he kicked everybody out that's why uh he blew up sodom and gomorrah right you know he did all those things but guess what bad stuff sin just keeps coming back it's like okay this doesn't work i need something else uh -huh. right so that's why censorship doesn't work right now we're still gonna try it once we're in power us conservatives in fact, Nick Fuentes used the word uh, Christian populism. Uh, that's probably the true right uh, movement, actually, Christian populism. And that's going to have some flaws, too. So, like, what's going to happen? Are we going to start, so, uh, like, what if they actually make homosexuality banned in America, right? Even through the Constitution, right? You know, uh, I, can't, I can't talk about my three-point litmus test anymore because I don't want to risk getting banned again. But let's say they do something like that, right? What are you gonna do? You're gonna start rounding up gay people and putting them in jail? Are we gonna be like the Middle East? I don't know. I don't feel comfortable with that. All right. You know, it's like, how far do you really want to take it? Like, it's the same old story, right? You know. So, and what's interesting is Nick Fuentes took a politicalcompass.org test. I took the same thing. It's actually pretty good. Both both our tests came out direct center. I actually happen to be more centrist. Uh, what? What? If I can have a political compass, I think I think it's because of my proxy. No, it's working. That's so weird. What happened there? So anyway, this political compass puts your thing on a graph between economics and social issues because they're actually intertwined, which is actually correct. Uh, that's more correct. It's not just about economics or social, and then that's it. They're actually a combination of the two. So I actually am dead center. I actually thought I would be center right and more authoritarian because I'm more because um, I'm more willing to wield the power of the state, just like Nick Fuentes is. But he and I both came out dead center. We're actually centrist. So it really goes to show just how far left we really become, uh, and probably the reason why we're resorting to authoritarianism as we say that is because that's what the far left has been doing and it requires that you have to use the state so it's like you know again everyone gets what they deserve call it karma in chinese culture or asian culture or east asian culture and yeah you know eye for an eye tooth for a tooth or something like that so anyway uh all right i'll i'll i'll, I'll, I'll summarize what i'm going to be doing financially but it's the same thing not much uh actually nothing so if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com, mm. uh, excuse me, forward slash JMC Radio. 
smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page and uh yeah I was trying to grow this channel so all right not too bad 30 minutes you know covered a lot of stuff uh and yes i actually uh am working on my game it's pretty cool i got the shooting works i improved i imported more tile maps i learned how to use the tile map better and i was able to solve a problem that i had in the previous iteration so now all the squares are working so i'm out i'm now beginning to understand why you have to be more liberal-ish right to do programming that's why there's so many liberals and not so many conservatives because you have to actually keep an open mind to try to figure out problem solving right because i was having a problem where i was playing a tile map i was painting on my game and then um you know i kind of want to do oh, it's gonna take forever to load maybe i'll because i really want to post like some kind of like demo picture but anyway um yeah the thing was supposed to be confined to a square but the graphics were going outside the square i was like why is it doing that and i eventually realized oh because the picture base is the dimensions are too big or not correct uh the pixels are all wrong i have it can't be rigid it has to be more flexible so that requires a more i guess i like to say liberal mindset right more open whereas conservatives were much more rigid so that, that so now i'm beginning to understand why this is happening so you know uh, so so yeah, I was able to fix the problem. Now now I can f now I have the ability to be very flexible, right? and that's why I like Unity because Unity is all about being flexible, and that's really my personality. So yeah, so you want to do problem solving, you gotta just be more flexible, right? That's why Trump's on top of his game, all right? You know he's slow to it because he's held back by his you know uh, boomer ideal boomer ideology beginnings because. Obviously, he's a boomer, right? He he was born in, what, the 40s, 50s, or 60s or something like that, right? So, you know, he was exposed to that, right? You know, most of you and I are not boomers, so we have a different point of view. So, anyway, what was the point of that whole ramble? But, yeah, uh, things are going along pretty well. Today, I'm going to finally try to work because uh, our item interaction, right? Bracky's had a crazy 18-minute video on it, and a lot of it's unnecessary. But I watched the whole video, so now I know, okay, so I just want the interaction part. I don't need the movement part. Because he's trying to design, like, a left click, and you go to it, cut a RPG. Most games are not that. So, I just need the interaction part. And then... Next video, we'll do item interaction. So I, I, I gotta like figure, I, I gotta try to put it together. So <clears throat> anyway, uh, I'll see you all tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. And always remember, Johnson Chan, JMC Coin, 404 Coin. So for now, things will continue to get worse. Uh, Rebel is definitely gonna take a hit. What I'm gonna be looking for is, is this gonna be as bad as the losses in March? Because March was bloody. Right now, the losses seem to be half of what they were in March, so that's good. So that tells me that, yeah, things are going to get bad, but it's not. It's going to be 50% less bad than March. That's a good thing. What matters is the pain starts to reach diminishing returns, and then we hit a bottom, and then we can start going, going back up. And the nice part is this is all based purely on fundamentals, right? Coronavirus economic shutdown and these two things are at odds with each other right you can't just reopen the economy because of coronavirus but you can't just keep everyone shut in because of coronavirus because then the economy tanks and then you know suicides riots murders looting and theft and people just in general getting very angry about the shutdown all right so <laughs> i would not want to be donald trump's position all right but that's that's the price of being president, right? And I'm gonna have, and I understand that. So that's why I'm gonna have those aspects uh, as a, one of the many cores, story plot points of my game, right? To put you in a position of what it's like to be in a catch twenty two position all the time, and then you have to really think, shit, <laughs> right? And to make it easy, a little easier, my main character, which of course is played by me, because I like being an actor, believe it or not uh you know he's immortal right so it's like well what's the problem well yeah you're you're about to find out right you know because uh i know how to solve the superman problem very easily i don't need <clears throat> and i don't need to invent stupid kryptonite to you know make it make the character vulnerable all right there, there are many other ways much better ways 
So yeah. So anyway, uh, I'm going to do nothing. Not going to buy any crypto, right? Uh, I expect the pain to get worse. Uh, so we'll see. Number two, not buying any stocks. However, I will be eyeing obviously Rimmel. So um, if it drops back down to fifty cents to a dollar again, then I would definitely reconsider. Then I would definitely consider buying more. But at that point, I'm definitely going to want to see if there's any news about uh, Rimmel. And right now, just do past week. And right now, it's still just nothing. So that's good. No news is good news. So see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. That's what I'm doing. And here's our thumbnail.